Operation Overlord is go, guys. And here we have the Churchill AVRE P tart that you can get from it. Hello, guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you, all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's take a look on the Churchill and how to get it in today's video, okay? So, what this vehicle is? Well, it's an engineer's version of a Churchill. Very interesting, very, very good looking. I mean, mean looking, if you will, uh, with a lot of tracks and stuff. And yeah. On the sense of armor and everything like that, it's pretty much the same as the other uh, Churchills, you know, so it will be very, very strong for the BR. Like, really, really strong. This thing will be hard to penetrate. Uh, even from the sides, it's it's hard sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, if you take a look on the penetration values of a German tank, for example, at 2.7, let's bring a 2. Point, or even 3.0 here. I mean, look at this. What is the best ammunition over here? I mean, we have APCR, right? But I guess APCR, even the APCR doesn't penetrate very well, right? Like, <laughs> look at that, come on. <laughs> even if you get like a Panzer IV, it still has places that it's impossible to penetrate, which is kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, this tank is very 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 strong um so yeah guys um it will be interesting and what about the ammunition because as i said this is an engineering tank so yeah it has only basically a rocket a demolition rocket that flies at an incredible 50 meters per second of speed this is really slow guys really slow like it's my god, it's basically 180 kilometers per hour. I mean, my car can <laughs> travel faster than this. Not that I would, right? But it's still, like, kind of funny that this ammunition is this low. Um, and it has a kind of a lot of TNT for such a, a, like a tank ammunition. 13 kilos, it's pretty good. And everything else is pretty much that already, you know? It, it was used in the D-Day, as you see the... Um, the star over here. It is a British tank, but of course it has the star to not get bombed, bombed by ally um, vehicles, you know. So let's test drive it a little bit and then we talk about it, how to get it. Because it's quite easy actually, it's one of the easier ones, uh, but you still gotta play a lot. So as you see the mobility of the turret is pretty good. The mobility of the gun itself is pretty good, The of the tank itself is pretty alright. I mean, it's a very Heavy tank for the time, doesn't have a lot of power, obviously, and stuff. It is a Churchill, after all. Um, and it's a very weird-looking gun, right? It has, like, the protection around there. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Bomb demolition. I mean, look at, look, at the, look at the markers, guys. It's measured in tens of meters. Oh, my God, this is going to be... You're gonna have to mess with the sensitivity of the zeroing over here because, I mean, like, it's 180 meters, that Panzer II over there. And <laughs> look at the scale. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on in here? My god. It doesn't go more than that? Oh no, it does. Jesus, like, this is for 100 meters. Come on, where's the 180? Where's the 180? Come on. 160, one, oh. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't like go upwards more than this. It's like, I need to find a place where this is going to be a very weird tank to use and probably not like very easy as well. Let me do this to try to get more range on this thing. My god, look at this. I cannot go upwards more than that. Let me think about this, yeah. My god, that thing is low! <laughs> and I missed! <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be 
really difficult to use, guys. I gotta say. Let me get closer to those targets to see the the amount of damage that they do. And the reload is pretty bad as well. <laughs> so this is going to be a very hard thing to use. I gotta say. Like, let's see right here. How many meters is this? Come on. 110. So, right here. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so slow. Oh my god. It's so slow. This is probably one of the slowest rockets, browns ever for a tank. And you gotta give. Like, it's going to be one of those tanks that the, the enemy just sees you coming. And. You gotta get to like a hundred meters from it to actually make a, a shot, which is the funniest thing ever. But it does have a lot of range, a lot of damage, sorry. Point blank. This is not point blank for a tank like this. 180 meters. I don't think, no, I cannot, I cannot bring it up anymore. Oh my god, that's so funny. Let's see? 160? I think I can already... No. It's like... I cannot... Like, I have to get... If you are in a level position, the max range of this thing will be 130 meters, basically. That's the funniest thing ever, man. What is this thing? Jesus Christ. Look at the range that I am, and this thing doesn't, doesn't have the range for it. I mean, 90 meters. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, it's so slow, it feels like it's a slow motion. But it does, like I said, it does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. That's so funny. Panza. Let's see the range. 250. Oh. Let's... Do it like this. 160. I cannot get the cannon upwards anymore. I can a little bit here, right? But it depends on the terrain. I mean, I can do this, right? Yeah. 130. Ooh, oh, Jesus Christ. It is really good, but you gotta get really close to the target. That's <laughs> that's the funniest thing ever. If you can get a very good position that you can just have something to put the nose of the tank upwards, it will actually do pretty well. Let's see if we can actually kill uh, a Tiger 2 over here. Point blank. It's so funny that he's saying point blank. And you gotta have patience, right? You have a very long reload. Let's see, right in the upper laces. Oh, we finally found a match to this amazing gun that doesn't have any type of speed. Come on, let's reload. You do have a coaxial gun over here. And you do have a smoke grenade, which is kinda good, actually. It's so slow, my god. Oh, he got the Tiger 2. So, again, this gun can kill everything. The only downside of it is that it doesn't have any range. Because you cannot get the cannon to go upwards too much. So, yeah, that might be the biggest problem that something like this would have. Uh, you need to get really close to the target. Like, really close. It's so weird, man. It's so weird. But yeah, guys. Uh, basically, this is it for the tank itself. Very, very fun. Uh, I cannot wait to actually drive this thing in a match. Uh, but yeah, let's just show to you guys qu really quickly how to do the event. You just have to play the game um, in tank matches. Once you get mission score points inside the game, you will basically get this thing. So, uh, mission score, as you see. Uh, you need to get 35,000 mission score inside ground battles. But of course, there are multipliers that help you. So if you get 1,000 points in ground RB, it will be 
1330, if it's in simulator, 1800, and if it's in ground, it's 930 points. So to add it up here. So the higher the mode, the better. And the higher the rank as well. If you get in the rank 8, for example, or something like that, uh, it will be a thousand points will become a thousand two hundred and if you are in a rank one to three it's going to be eight hundred so if you play in the highest ranks with the highest modes you will get the most amount of points for example if you get to ground sp and uh, rank eight if i'm not mistaken if you get a thousand points you get three thousand points so it's pretty pretty interesting i think it's three thousand or two thousand actually i don't know doesn't matter it's more um once you get six of them you get the vehicle and why you get those you can get them via, via here as well, right? Uh, get the decals, the trophies and stuff and everything like that. So, yeah, very, very cool thing. Not that easy to, to get it, but not that hard as well. And I got to say, for the lols, it's pretty fun to actually play with this thing. So I will get it for myself, but it is, it is interesting to say the least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and bye, guys.